Sound Radio makes a return in Red River. What we've done is spend a lot of time simplifying it down, getting it down to two layers rather than three. Most things on there are now much more context sensitive than they were in Dragon Rising. We've added back functions, so if you make a mistake, you can easily go back. We've also looked at the terminology to make it clearer to the player exactly what the player wants to do. So with simple muscle memory of two thumb movements, you can easily command the AI to suppress an area or rush to an area, defend or hold a position, change their fire rates, all manner of things. Other improvements we've made to the command radial are the big one which is you can use it while you're moving which gives you the opportunity to direct your guys in the fire team to a building on the horizon and with the new contextual commands they can assault it with one button press and that means you can access your squad commands much more quickly than you could before. We've really tried to make it something that doesn't intimidate players that are new to this game. We don't want to punish players for not using the tactics but at the same time we have some nice tutorials there that encourage them to use it and, and learn how to use it as well. Reloading! One of the things we've added to Red River is the radar and what that gives players is the ability to have situational awareness. They can see where Alpha Fire Team is and where Charlie Fire Team is. So that gives you the ability to see whether they're flanking in the right time frame or not or whether you need to back them up or move through the centre. Reloading. Also we've um, gone to town with our waypointing system to make sure that all your objectives are very clearly marked. We're trying to end the confusion where players might be fresh to this and not really know where to go and which direction to travel in. In terms of the visual language of war, our audience sees a lot of news reportage from um, things like CNN and then online and um, the kind of visual aspects of that, there's lots of break up, lots of lens aberrations um, from the extreme conditions that these, these conflicts are filmed. We really emphasise that through our visual style, so things like colour grading, um, HDR, all these kind of tools are used to really create um, an embedded feel. So when you get hit by a bullet, we kind of simulate like a helmet camera getting interfered with and not back. And that just ties into the audience's expectations of war as seen through these websites. We've completely overhauled our VFX system. We've got um, a new offering tool there and lots of new technology to really give punch to our modern munitions that feature in the game. We've got things like animated textures to create more realistic fires. Um, and we simulate everything from bullet impacts through to the, the largest thousand pound JDAM bomb, which can take out an entire village. In Red River, we're trying to immerse players. We're trying to give you that little glimpse of what it might be like to be on the front line. And in order to do that, we have to give you equipment that feels exactly like it would in the hands of a soldier that's out there. And that means that attention to detail on, on the kit, on the weaponry, has to be spot on. So we looked at lots of images and reference of how weapons are customised in the field by active serving Marines. And we found lots of really is interesting visual details, things like um, scopes tied on with shoelaces or wire to make sure they're, they're nice and secure and the soldiers go to the ground. But wherever we, we found something that was visually interesting, we had like the dry basic choice or the, the more kind of cooler side. We, we definitely went with the, the cooler aspects of it. 